I possibly carry on with my day without discussing the uproar surrounding TikTok facelifts? If you've caught a glimpse of these transformations, you are well aware of the spectacle. Social media, as we all know, has seamlessly woven itself into the fabric of our daily lives. However, its influence sometimes takes a rather unsettling turn. Fasten your seatbelts because today's gossip promises to be quite the roller coaster ride, loves. So without any further ado, let's dive into the madness. Oh, heads up, this story is more convoluted than a pretzel. Of course, it's always on that app, the virtual melting point of content of all sorts, ranging from viral dance crazes to handy cooking tips and everything in between. But would you believe me that some individuals are now turning to TikTok for medical guidance? Believe it or not, TikTok now has a role as health advisor. But it gets worse. People are even taking beauty surgery info off of the platform. I mean, has it all gone a bit too far? If you've been on TikTok or Twitter lately, there's a chance you may have seen some viral facelift surgeries going around. But why exactly are they going viral? Well, let me just play two clips to show you. Yeah, that's Dr. Kim, a TikTok surgeon who has been causing quite the stir lately. This guy's using TikTok not just for medical advice, but to showcase his questionable surgical skills. And before I forget, let me warn you, his surgeries are not for the faint-hearted. Many people on TikTok were drawn to his videos like moths to a flame, captivated by his promise of transforming their appearance, those who made searches for beauty surgeries, of course. But loves, it's all smoke and mirrors. This surgeon is more more like a magician pulling tricks out of his hat, except instead of rabbits, he's pulling out botched nose jobs and wonky lip fillers. And to make it even worse, his patients end up looking like comical versions of themselves. Who needs beauty surgery when you can just watch one of his TikToks for a good laugh? But not only this, but they even, wait for it, pay him for this madness. I mean, is it just me or are people really just that desperate these days? All right, let's start where all the drama began, you guys, which was when one of his patients, let's call him Paul, went under the knife hoping for a subtle enhancement. But instead, he woke up looking like a cartoon character. And y'all, it was wild. Imagine waking up from surgery only to find out you've been turned into a living meme. Is it just me or is this whole situation just pathetic? I mean, I can't help but wonder what goes on in these doctors' minds. And to shock you even further, he's not even a surgeon in a hospital. Not only were his surgeries questionable, but even some of his medical advice was downright dangerous. I mean, telling people what surgeries to have without asking for their medical histories? Come on, doc, that's just asking for trouble. And before I forget, here's the craziest part of all of this. Despite numerous complaints and warnings from other medical professionals, Dr. Cut'em Up continues to operate and post his antics on TikTok. I mean, what happened to ethical medical practices? This isn't just harmless fun, but a dangerous trend that needs to be stopped. Because are these truly the hands of a 69 year old woman? And here's another look at them. This is just strange. To be honest, the results of those facelifts look like they were AI generated. I mean, come on, you could practically see one of those patient's hands appeared to be too young compared to their face in the before videos. Is it just me or does that scream red flag louder than a fire alarm? He only showed healed patients a few times and yet despite all the evidence pointing to a potentially botched makeover, Dr. Cut'em Up continued to bask in the limelight of TikTok, churning out content as if all was well. It's like he's living in his little bubble of delusion, completely detached from the havoc he could be wreaking on his patients' lives. This is very serious and permanent stuff, and I'm sure that that man that's being posted everywhere 
Asus life right now. And before I forget, here's the craziest part of all this. Given the attention Dr. Kim was getting from his unsettling results, a YouTuber named Tuv decided to investigate. But not just any directionless investigation. Tuv wanted to get their prices compared to American prices in the name of the person doing the surgery. Tuv also wanted to know their location, and this, my loves, is where the drama began. So armed with determination and a laptop, Tuv set out on a mission to uncover the truth behind Dr. Kim's supposedly shady operations. But little did Tuv know, they were about to stumble upon more than they bargained for. It was literally the plot of a thrilling detective show. So I was clicking the hashtags on Dr. Kim's posts, and they led to more facelift surgeries, but by different accounts. Before you know it, the hashtags on Dr. Kim's TikToks led to more accounts with similar results. Tuv stumbled upon a whole underground network of questionable surgeries. So now this is beginning to sound like cartel operations. And to add more fuel to the fire on Lang Yuk's two, we'll call him Lang, he claims to be based in Shanghai and that he has 30 years of experience. And keep in mind, it's broken English. English. In Shanghai, doctor of medicine, more than 30 years of plastic surgery experience, facial rejuvenation and facelift surgery. Lang boasts that he specializes in a laundry list of procedures, facial rejuvenation and facelift surgery, overall face shaping, eye and nose plastic surgery, breast plastic surgery, body shaping sculpture, contour plastic surgery, plastic surgery, plastic surgery and repair. And he even adds an etc. as if that wasn't enough. I mean, come on, is he a plastic surgeon? or a one-stop shop for all your cosmetic needs. Keep her over here, just buy your flight and make your way here, but um, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going. Are you in Shanghai, China? We would like to know who is doing the surgery if we do move forward with this procedure. Yes, I am in Shanghai, China. Dr. Li Feng would perform the procedure. Dr. Li Feng. What about Dr. Kim on TikTok? I thought that was the doctor. They did reply with text, but first they sent me a video and who's that in the corner? That is Dr. Li Fang. According to them, this is the guy that's doing the surgeries. They literally told me. That's what they told me. There is a potential face. You know, I'm only going to say allegedly. I'm not going to fully accuse him. But allegedly, this is the guy that did everything. That's doing all those botched surgeries. There is a face to that man and this is him. This is Dr. Li Feng. He honestly looks like a, like a nice guy, but uh, those uh, procedures aren't that nice. If you guys see a blur, that's because I'm blurring out the person. You know, I don't want to include any of these people like I've said before. Each doctor has different areas of expertise. For facelift, Dr. Li is the best. And if you're interested in facial contouring procedures, Dr. Kim can perform them. Oh, okay. I will talk to my wife and we will discuss because this is a big topic. I may come back with more questions. Thank you. Yes, this is a big decision. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me anytime. So they just alluded to the fact that Dr. Kim is a real person along with Dr. Li Feng. So this is what I was saying at the beginning of the video. I feel like there's one to three real surgeons and uh, everything else is just a TikTok promo. So again, I'm not going to accuse Dr. Kim of being a fake person, but I asked for him and they sent another one. Pretty weird. During this investigation, I found out obviously <laughs> that there there are a lot more doctors, not just Dr. Kim or Dr. Lee Feng. So let's head on over to that section. Bruh. So yes, I found another facelift account. I know it's pretty funny. There's probably hundreds and uh, it's a lot I didn't include in this video, but this one was a little bit different because it had a different WhatsApp number and a working website. So experts are saying that no plastic surgeon can excel in all these procedures for the best results. And that's why most surgeons have specialties for a reason, but not Dr. Kim. It's not enough that he has like three mysterious online profiles, but he's also claiming to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. By this point, any normal person can see that Dr. Liang's claims sound like a recipe for disaster. But it looks like people don't do their research further before putting their health on the line and in the hands of quacks. I honestly never get why people still choose to engage with such people when their claims are too good to be true. Sometimes being skeptical can save one from harm. The other red flag is the fact that both Dr. Kim's three profiles only provide personal information and no concrete, verifiable professional information. It's like they are just selling smoke and mirrors. And if you thought things couldn't get any stranger, well, stay right there, guys, because here's where it gets downright bizarre. Yang 
both have WhatsApp links in their bios, and they both lead to the same account? Jaizu-GJ. Jaizu, huh? The actual at for the Dr. Kim account? Hmm. Both doctors had a WhatsApp number in their bio. But guess what? This link leads to the same WhatsApp group called GJ. Please forgive me if I'm butchering these names. I'm trying here. Anyways, let's proceed. So get this. Dr. Kim's handle also appears to be Jaizu16. So this is one person running three different faceless accounts because there's no way this can all be a coincidence. The threats all lead back to this mysterious figure and the million dollar question is, who is Jay Zhu and what is their connection to these so-called surgeons? I don't know about you, but my detective senses are tingling. There's definitely something fishy going on behind the scenes and I'd rather reveal my face to y'all than believe that I'm reading too much into it. On to the next mind boggling question. If they were one organization, why can't they just have an official account on TikTok or whatever social media they want as other legitimate businesses do? I mean, come on. Even if their other actions are straightforward, spamming surgery results with different accounts does look shady and does not exactly portray them in a good light. It's like they're trying to cover their tracks with a web of fake identities. What's their end game? It's probably money, but we still gotta ask these questions. The answers may just fall in our laps if we poke hard enough, so buckle up, loves. We're going on detective mode. So back to Tov, our main detective, he stumbled upon yet another account with Jezu in the name. This one is a little more special. It has a Facebook account, but here's where it gets even more interesting. Tov digs deeper and finds a Dr. Lee, possibly the same Lee Fung. There's even a photo this time, a group that appears to be colleagues as they all pose in white t-shirts branded Dr. Lee Fung. This one had a Facebook link, bingo, and the user was Dang Jaizu, aka Dr. L. And his Facebook cover picture already reveals a new character, Dr. Lee Feng. Huh? And me, which, yeah, seems to match up with Dr. L. And what do their shirts say? If you zoom in, they clearly say Dr. Lee Feng. But wait, there's more. They are also located in Shanghai, China. It's like we're peeling back the layers of an onion, revealing more and more connections with each discovery. Could this be the missing puzzle piece we've been searching for? Is Dr. Lee Fung the mastermind behind this whole operation, pulling the strings from behind the scenes? And what's the significance of the Jay Zhu connection? I don't know about you loves, but my detective instincts are screaming. Case not closed. Well, according to that Facebook profile, Shanghai, China. Okay, wow. That's a lot of new information. So he comes up with a plan that's straight out of a spy movie to contact these mysterious figures pretending to be a husband to an Asian woman looking around for cosmetic surgery. Tov even manages to snag a selfie from the internet to add credibility to his story. We're watching a real life undercover operation unfold right before our eyes, you guys. This is way better than any TV series. I was literally on the edge of my chair waiting for things to unfold. Will Tov crack the case wide open or will he hit a dead end. One thing's for sure though, this investigation just got a whole lot more exciting. Okay, so here we are on my phone on WhatsApp. I am gonna be blurring the phone number even though it's like easily accessible on TikTok, but I still don't wanna be the one to put it out there. So there will be a bunch of blurred stuff. So sorry about that. Anyway, hello, can I reach Dr. Kim? Hi, what can I do for you? I'd like more information about the facelifts. Is there a website I can visit? Because gjhose.com does not work. And in case you're wondering where I got gjhose.com, which I know is funny hose, <laughs> it's actually the website this account has on their WhatsApp account. So believe me, when I first saw that website, I was like, bingo, we got it. But uh, apparently a new website is constructing. In order to know you more and make plan for you, please send me your photos. And then uh, they send like a, a diagram of how they want me to send the photos for my surgery. And that's when I freaked out. Moving on, things took a very suspicious yet super interesting turn. In the initial interaction, they, whoever is responding to Tuv that is, start with the classic move. Basically building trust, but then quicker than you can say Botox, they immediately suggest a mini facelift without properly inquiring what she would have wanted. Medical history, nothing. Shouldn't the patient at least speak for themselves before the doctor provides an expert opinion? Alarm bells are already ringing louder than a fire drill in my head, but let's proceed. Please don't forget that by this time, we aren't still sure whether the person texting back is even a real doctor 
doctor. So far, this is just a game of cosmetic surgery roulette, hoping they'll strike gold with each suggestion. Facial proportions are great. The distance from the forehead to the brow is similar to the distance from the brow to the tip of the nose, and the distance from the nose tip to the chin. This gives her face a very three-dimensional appearance. The primary issues your wife is currently facing are due to aging, resulting in sagging of the face, leading to nasolabial folds, marionette lines, and neck wrinkles. These factors contribute to a tired appearance. According to your wife's facial condition, I would suggest to consider a mini facelift. The mini facelift can effectively improve tear-throughs, nasolabial folds, necklines, and corner of the mouth bags, making your wife appear 5 to 8 years younger. The results of the surgery are expected to last for at least 10 years, which is already insane. It gets creepier, guys. Things are about to take a chilling turn. After suggesting a mini facelift and a whole other long list of procedures, they thought it wise to provide some testimonials. They sent jarring results of other patients thinking a normal human being can be impressed by such. And they think this is good. This is what they sent me. This one just looks like Facetune, honestly, but this is the one that really got me. This one. This is, um, let's just say unpleasant. I literally admire their level of confidence for showcasing their botched masterpieces as if they were prized works of art. They even had more confidence to quote the price. Imagine getting a botched face for $5,100. When two mentioned that he was in the US, they added that they'd also arrange for transport and accommodation. Now that's very enticing. I've begun to see how people with self-esteem issues would be swayed to take such an offer because remember the average cost of the same procedure in the US USA is upwards of a whopping $8,000. So they being cheaper than average is a feature likely to lure many into their crooked alternative. But with the promise of a new face at the fraction of the cost, is it worth the risk? The only reason people opt for cosmetic surgery is because they get what they paid for. So it beats logic that one could decide to cut corners and sacrifice quality and safety. This literally feels like a disaster waiting to happen. We are in the United States. It would cost $5,100 dollars in total. I will also arrange airport pickup and accommodation for you. Do you come to China with your wife? All right, let's stop there. So first the price, $5,100. Average facelift here in the US, and actually I looked up Los Angeles, around 8,000 minimum. Obviously, if it's anything less than 8,000, there's a chance people could fly out there and get a cheaper version of the same surgery, which obviously it's, it's a big incentive. It's cheaper over here. Just buy your flight and and make your way here, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. In their interaction, Tub was able to establish that Dr. Kim and Dr. Lee Fong were two different doctors, which confirms my earlier suspicion that this isn't a one-man show. So, like in Tub's case, Dr. Lee Fong would be doing the surgery. They even sent Tub a video of a woman, presumably a patient, and in that video, we eventually saw the supposed. Now at least we have a face. Hi, China. We would like to know who is doing the surgery if we do move forward with this procedure. Yes, I am in Shanghai, China. Dr. Lee Fang would prefer Perform the procedure. Dr. Lee Fang. What about Dr. Kim on TikTok? I thought that was the doctor. They did reply with text, but first they sent me a video. So what's the deal with Dr. Lee Fong? It's still not clear whether he is the mastermind behind this whole operation or just a pawn in a much larger game. So of course, Tuv never engaged them further because there was no wife to conduct a facelift on. But I hope you all at least try to do some due diligence before trusting TikTok experts in whatever field because you might escape Dr. Kim and his team, but these people are literally all over the place. Tuv even found yet another surgeon with a glowing resume, but was just as questionable as Dr. Kim and his associates. This new doc also has all the trappings of a legitimate operation, a customary WhatsApp link, and even a working website. But as you'd already expect, what's advertised on TikTok does not match the references on the site. This is just downright a disgrace. These so-called doctors are taking advantage of people who, for whatever reason, need to change their bodies to feel more at home in their skin. But let's not forget the real victim in all of this, the 
unsuspecting clients who put their trust in these witches only to be left disfigured. It's a tragedy, loves, and one that deserves to be exposed for the whole world to see. It's a chilling reminder, loves, that being able to verify a doctor's competence is super crucial. Otherwise, you might end up on a ghost, unqualified surgeon's table, and the consequences can be catastrophic. One such victim of medical negligence is Quan De He, whose story sends shivers down my spine. Quan tragically passed away due to complications arising from surgery. Quan had complications and the clinic he was at had to call an ambulance for him. Yes, you heard that right. These clinics are not hospitals and should complications arise, they have to call an ambulance like everyone else. When it comes to cosmetic surgery, there is no safety net to catch you if things go wrong. Fortunately for Quan, his mother refused to let his death go unnoticed. In 2016, she launched a civil case seeking justice for her son's untimely demise. And after years of legal battles, she finally emerged victorious, winning a settlement of $381,000 in May 2019. Can you imagine the pain and anguish his family must have endured? But let's not forget loves, no amount of money can ever bring back a lost loved one. Imagine the insecurity people already feel to get a facelift surgery, then it's botched, and then it's posted everywhere on social media. Not only that, they have to go back home like that. Like imagine your parents get that surgery, they come back home, bro. You have to look at a, fa a new face for the rest of your life. It really is the fact that it's botched. Rich people get face surgeries all the time and they do look good. Like as much as we want to hate on them, they do look good sometimes. And yes, I know there's going to be some comments talking about like, well, they're adults, actions have consequences. And yes, they did make the decision to go to Dr. Kim for some reason, but there's still people with feelings. And if there's one thing I'm not going to do in this video, it's make fun of them. Death by plastic surgery is horrifying. Man, it's just sad to think that people have to live with those faces their whole lives. It's already so disturbing that there's a group of people out there who trust TikTok surgeons, but please always remember remember that your safety and well-being should always come first, no matter how tempting these before and after shots may be. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? Stay vigilant, my loves, and until next time, keep those detective hats on and keep questioning everything.